Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to reload 308. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's get to it. The first thing I like to do is dry tumble my brass to knock off any particulate that might be on the case. I use the Lyman's Turbo Tumbler and their treated media and their sifter. For this video, I'm using the RCBS small base dies for the 308. There's been some discussion whether or not you need to use a small base for your AR platform. Um, I'd like to start a discussion, so maybe drop a comment below, tell me what you think. Uh, do you use uh, the small base or the full uh, neck resizing dies? This die set includes two different dies. It includes the depriming and resizing die and the bullet seating and crimping die. Now, with the RCBS die, you'll wanna make sure that your deep priming pin is extending about 3 16ths of an inch below the bottom of the die. Once you have that set, then we'll go ahead and place the die into the press. With a shell holder in place, we'll run the ram all the way to the top. We'll turn the die down until you touch the shell holder. Once you feel it touching the shell holder, lower the rim, turn it about a quarter of a turn, then feel, you should feel a cam over. Once that's set, now you can set your locking ring. And now you're ready to deprime and resize your shell. With bottleneck shells, I like to lube the bottom third of the shell. That's where the majority of the expansion is. So making sure that the bottom third of the shell is lubed. The reason why you don't want to lube the shoulders is you'll get dimpling. That's just my theory. After it's been lubed, which I've already lubed, then you place it in your shell holder. You run it up to the top. And now you have a fully resized and deprimed 308 shell. Now the case trim length is 2.005 inches. I'm going old school with the way I'm trimming today. So I put it into the shell holder hooked up to my drill. I have the trimmer. So now that I have it trim to the appropriate length, now we can move on to chamfering and deburring. So the next step is to chamfer and deburr. I like to use the Frankfurt Arsenal Case Trim and Prep Center for this. Now it's trimmed, chamfered, and deburred. So now it's time to prime our shell. I'm using the Winchester Large Rifle Primers. Um, back in the day when I bought these, these were $3.99 for $100. I know that's changed dramatically over the years. Um, so I'm going to use my Lee Prime Station. Placing the shell into the shell holder, applying appropriate pressure, and now our shell is primed. So for this reloading project, I'm using the Hornaday 10th edition, so please refer back to that if you're using this as a resource. I'm using the 168 grain Amax. My choice for powder is going to be Varget. The low end is going to be 35.5 grains, and the high end is 42.7 grains. One thing I'd like to mention is please 
write down everything in a spiraled notebook for your reference. You'll want to refer back to your reloading manual. Uh, this is just for illustration only. Um, I have this already marked out for 39 grains, so we'll go ahead. Make sure we have 39 grains. So just over 39 grains, which is not max. So this is what we're going to use for this reloading illustration. So Varget is a pellet-shaped gunpowder, and it doesn't always work nicely in powder throwers. So make sure that you are throwing your charge all the way up and all the way down. So for the bullet seeder and crimping die, the first thing you want to do, now that we have a fully charged, we, we have a primer in, is fully charged um, with gunpowder, you'll place it in the shell holder and run the ram to the top. Now I've backed out my cedar plug already. You're just going to put the die in to the press and turn it down until you feel it touch the shell. Once you feel it touch the, the shell, you want to back this off one full turn and lock your locking ring. Once you've done that, you lower the ram. The bullet seater plug is up. You place your projectile into the case mouth. and run it up to the top of the ram. Now, you can see that it's it's seated in there, but it's not fully seated. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to continue to turn the bullet seater plug down until you get the appropriate length. So for this specific cartridge, the cartridge overall length should be 2.8 inches. So you'll continually screw down the bullet seater until you get 2.8. Now we got a ways to go here, so I can turn this down a little bit. We just keep working this. until we get to that 2.8. So you can see that we got it to 2.8 inches. Now that that's done, we can set this and lock it down. So now each one that, each projectile that we load through here will be to the depth of 2.8 inches. So if you'd like to apply a crimp after you have the bullet seated, the next step would be to turn back your bullet seater plug, loosen your locking ring, place your finished cartridge into the shell holder, run it up to the top of the ram and now you'll screw the die down until you start meeting resistance. Now this one I'm just going to apply just a small amount of crimp to it. I don't want a heavy crimp so you can see here there, there's a crimp but not a heavy crimp. Now that I have it set where I want it I'll place the cartridge back into the shell holder, run it up to the top. I'll lock this locking ring. I will turn down the bullet seater plug until it touches the tip of the bullet. And I'll lock these down. Now each time I run my completed shell and projectile, it will seat it and also provide the crimp that I want. 
all in one. And now you have a completed 308 cartridge. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Rumble at K2Defense. See you next time.